What's up, everybody? Back in with another episode of Life is Strange. Sunny Daniel Enterprises. When I left off, I was arguing with Frank. I mean, not Frank. David. Country music? Dad loved this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you and my old friend. Burning the midnight all again. <laughs> There's probably music playing and I don't even have it on. <laughs> but like I said, no copyright. What a beautiful day. Alright, um. Look in the purse. I guess mom left her purse back here. I know she's dreaming. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. Dad, turn it up. Picking up my lover from the grocery store. Damn. Hey. The hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. I'll warn everything. Hello, Black Hell. Damn, I ain't saying nothing, y'all, am I? Shit, I'm just into the game. My bad. <laughs> I'm just taking it all in, you feel me? That's the good thing about the face cam, though. It's like you, you you can still be on here, but you're not really on here talking. I'm just trying to take everything in. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So... How about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but... I was thinking... Do you want to go together tomorrow? I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. But sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. All right. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. All right. Little datey date. Gotta track down Steph to pick up the DVD. OLT to view your Have objective. Have still got time before class? Oh, it's on her hand. Get DVD from Steph. Why does her hand look like that? <laughs> she look weird as hell. Where's Steph at though? Um, hey, I'm at the picnic tables by with Mikey. Thanks, I'm away. Picnic tables. What's up, Victoria? I remember your ass. Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor blades than talk to her. Oh, about her picnic tables. This must be her over here. Vomit razor blades. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloody, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Try me. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? 
One Blade Runner, director's cut, coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life of a real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Oh, they thought they was together. Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? I was gonna kick it with people. But, I'll fuck with you. What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know, I'm good. All right, let's get started. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land, now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh, Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes... Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him too. True story. You stand <laughs> at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Man, I have no idea. It's tent time. Are you sure you want to skip the training ground and the prison camp? Okay, let me pick again. Where do you wish to go? Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy-set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you, swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. 
The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game! It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. My character raises her axe. You'll pay for ruining all that loot, Elamon. By my honor, I apologize. Here, take this potion as a gift. Thanks, dude. What's next? Guess it's time to free some peeps. This Let's is kind of long. It's kind of a long the sequence of here. Iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, uh, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shitface! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common. Which means he can't I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Everybody knows that dragons are pussies. That's why they hide in caves and only come out to breathe fire on sheep and eat cows and shit. That was a mistake. The dragonkin growls, snapping at you and showing his teeth and claws. Tall one is a fool. Dragons are gods, he says. Damn. Maybe we'll just wait here while you die of old age, dragonkin guy. This tabletop shit is hard. Try playing solo. The dragonkin swallows the key, pointing at his stomach and then his own butt, laughing at you. Then he... I shove my axe through the cage, right into his stomach. Then I twist it, and then pull it out. His guts and shit start falling everywhere, but I jam my hands inside his open stomach, grabbing the key. Then, in the final moments before he dies, I hold the key up to his face. And then I laugh. Hey. Normally, I'd say you failed the challenge, except that was so horrifically amazing. You won. Yeah! Go team! Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? Guess we'll it's go to Warlord's time. Tent. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, Warlord of the Raiders of the Black Well sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. ha 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 Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgaron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? Oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation strike! 
That sounds boss as fuck. One? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no, three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs, plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. This game is awesome. My feet? Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp. 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 This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh, no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? Dude is kicking my ass. Stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Swing for his arm, swing for his head. I bring my axe down onto his arm. The one with the right. fire bracer. Then dude can thing. use his stuff. Oh. Brilliant. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. 20. Fuck yes. You bring your axe down in a wicked chop, severing his arm completely. His bracer of fire immunity clangs to the ground. I cast Gignomi's fire strike of flame. Oh, snap! Lying on the ground, you conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgeron in the chest, incinerating him completely from the inside out. Damn, Elamon! That's what's up. Durgeron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. I actually feel sad right now. Better to have died a hero. Then live as a coward. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. Hmm. I wouldn't say that. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. I mean, that was cool and all, but that shit took a long Duty. time. Check. Next stop, chemistry class. Hey, damn, Enjoy. man. Put a nigga to sleep playing that shit. Chloe? Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyt's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally, I don't but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? The story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that, but I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. What's wrong yeah. with this girl? <laughs> These people weird as shit. Alright, let's go in the house. I mean, in the school. What the hell? Damn, man. What have you got here? Twitch. Don't call me that. True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. 
Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Damn. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. Fuck Nathan. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop. What's in there? Chloe, do something. Don't just stand there watching. Honestly, I don't fuck with Nathan, so I'll step in though, just cause. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Look at yourself, then look at him. That's hardly fair, don't you think? Are you crazy? Mind your own business, freak. You have no idea how crazy I am. Keep pushing and find out. You want a piece of this? You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. You think this is funny? You, you think I'm joking here? If you were going to throw down, you would have already. This clown show is over. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Go, Samantha. <laughs> Like, man, I guess you got shit. lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? I ain't you gonna think lie. I need help from you. You're I, welcome. I ain't gonna lie. I would have let him Are get his ass right? whooped. <laughs> Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Not security co walking this dumb ass over here. You'd like, bruh. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. I would have let Nathan get his ass whooped, though. That's just me, though. That's just my preference. Mom side. I mean, mom, Skip. It would be confident. Oh, I don't like how we left things. Perfect. Is that a sarcastic perfect? No. All right. Oh, good. You're here. I need to pause this episode, y'all. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating and to your other fellow actors and most of all 
to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. Mm -hmm. This is getting as surreal as last night. Meow. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is... Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Um, I think it's true love. Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow. A romantic and a cynic. That actually kind of helps me. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. I'm trying to see what's up with Rachel, little cute ass. <laughs> I'll just be a minute. Okay. So, why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Right. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? I mean... Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. All right, Guess let's I'll go. go give this to Rachel now. Don't uh, walk in on her naked. Rachel, is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. I'll let you finish changing now. You shouldn't. You should have stood there and flirted with her. Just saying. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Maybe we could just... Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Fuck yes. Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. Let's get the hell out of here. Alright. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus or... Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Damn. She tougher than Chloe. Well... What the hell am I getting into here? That's gonna turn Chloe on, though. Where does this thing 
go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. That is crazy. It's kind of hot, though. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. What Elliot want? I already know everything. Hey, weren't you and Kim? Everything okay? Yup. What happened with Drew? People are saying you were awesome. Yo, let's talk later. Okay. Maybe one of these crates. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. Move it a little closer to her, though. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? I mean, you got to say something. <laughs> You're just staring at each other. Somebody got to say something. It's nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> what? I mean, weather. It's nice weather. Why is she so damn scared? <laughs> it sure is. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Yeah. Hey, so... I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah. Uh, if you hadn't shown up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? Seems kind That's of it. random, don't you think? I'm gonna need more than that. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun? Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. She dragging you into some shit, Chloe. Let's do something fun. Let's flirt. V card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well, I don't know. Okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is. A lie? Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. I'm curious on who smashed Chloe. <laughs> who took Chloe's virginity? Alright, uh, sounds fun. Sounds fun. You're on. <laughs> I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway. Born in to New which York. I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New, 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 New York, huh? Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Tokyo. Kathmandu? One day... I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. 
You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, the ambidextrous. Born in New York and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? The Leo. You're way too lucky to be a Leo. You've got to be a Sagittarius or something. The Archer? That'd be cool. Like Artemis. But I'm afraid I was telling the truth. Mm. Seriously? Hear me roar. <laughs> no, the lie was New York. I've never been there. Though I want to one day. I was born in Long Beach. New York's on the bucket list then. Sounds good. Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. We gonna tell a lie first. I broke my hand punching someone. Well, why would I cheat though? I'm secretly the lead guitarist of an all-girl Misfits cover band called the Misfits. Impressive. That's obviously a lie. I used to love country music when I was a kid. Now it makes me want to throw up. Literally. That's weird. Yeah, but you could tell she's telling the truth, though. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. He's so not, though. I mean, he's cool, but this this better. <laughs> You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, <laughs> I think I have your number. I'm not sure why country music makes you throw up. I'm a complex girl, Rachel. And I think it's probably true. Also, I kind of like the Dixie Chicks. You and David both. No accounting for taste. Who's David? He's... Ah... Uh, <laughs> The guy my mom's seeing, I guess. Oh. And you don't like him. <laughs> it's still so weird that she's dating someone. My dad and my mom, they were totally in love. You can tell how fucked up she is now just by how she's settling for David. He's this total hard-ass ex-military jagoff type. Like, the opposite of my dad. Oh. That sucks. Yeah. David has no respect. He acts like I'm some kind of problem to solve. Sometimes I am a problem, though. That's a load of bullshit. What do you mean? You're not a problem, Chloe. You're a person. It sounds like the only problem is David. You need to hit him where it hurts. <laughs> The only thing that David loves has four wheels and a four-barrel carburetor. Oh, God. A muscle car? I'm probably going to steal it soon, so... Let me know if you need an accomplice. Okay. You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. That place is a hellhole filled with shit where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, though. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. So, let's talk about this lead guitarist business. The business of show. As much as I'd love to be a groovy to your all-girl cover band, The Misfits. I'm gonna have to call lie on that one.
There's no way you'd ever be a groupie. Okay, that's fair. Hold up, y'all. Backup dancer with vocals. Obviously. The problem is, your hand is smooth. No calluses. You don't play guitar. Pity, too. You'd look hot on stage. She's throwing out all kinds of flirt action. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first, embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. Also, you told me about that dickwad David. Now he's on my shit list too. Hell yeah. Mustache brain won't know what hit him. I guess. You opened up a lot, that's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Go in for the kiss. No? Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Nah, bit. It's copyrighted. Share with Rachel. Of course, share with Rachel. Hey, How rude it would be to listen to music listen? by yourself. Alright. This game is a little slower than the first one, but it's, it's still, it's alright. It's cool. bracelet I've had it I guess since I was a kid in Long Beach it reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach or anywhere but here maybe sooner than later me too Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out. Damn. We're here. What? Where is here? Jump and find out. Did you say jump? Jump. Let's go then. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. I need to pause this episode, y'all. I'm not sure if I'm going to have these all running together or not still, but I'm going to pause it here. So thanks for watching. Thanks for showing love. Make sure you comment. Make sure you like. And make sure you subscribe, man. I need those likes and subscriptions. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. Hey. I got a whole lot of fans. I got a whole lot of fans. And I got a whole lot of haters. And they want a whole lot of favors. I got a whole lot of fans. And I got a whole lot of bands. And I got a whole lot of favors And I got a whole lot of haters I got a whole lot of bands And I got a whole lot of fans And I got a whole lot of haters And they want a whole lot of favors I got a whole lot of fans And I got a whole lot of bands And I got a whole lot of haters And they want a whole lot of favors Yeah, a whole lot of bands I got a whole lot of fans I got a whole lot of fans Youngest they trap out the van When we pull up, we the man When I pull up on the game You see the door on my ring Ooh, your girl wanna sing Yeah, she like on my loop
need a bad girl that's 